guys welcome back to the channel and this lab is little bit tricky so i request you please watch the video carefully i will explain each and every point in detail so first of all just log in with your credentials and once you're done with this just simply click on the checkbox and click on agree and continue now just simply come on the task number one scroll up a little bit and here you can see this two point okay first of all what we have to do we have to just enable these two apis so just copy this api name and just simply search for the api and here you can see api and services open this thing new tab come back over here then click on this library now just paste the name data catalog and here you can see google cloud data catalog api just open this thing in new tab then copy this big query connection copy that paste over here and hit enter and here you can see big query connection api just open this thing in new tab come back over here click on this enable option and then just come back over here click on this enable okay make sure you have to remember your region because we need in later step okay so for me the region is us east one for you it might be different so just remember your region okay now just wait and here you can see both the apis are enabled now if you want you can just close this tab come back over here you can close this tab as well now just simply search for the big query open this thing new tab come back over here just wait for a second and it's done now what you have to do just simply come on the task number one copy this data set name click on this three dot then click on this create data set and paste the data set id over here and then choose a region option as a location type and what was my region us east one so i'm going to choose that you have to choose your region okay so us east one click over there and then click on create data set just wait for a second and here it's created now if i just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress i will get a score without any issue now the task number two is little bit tricky so i request you please watch the video carefully first of all what we have to do we have to create a cloud resource so just copy this name carefully then click on this add then click on this connection to external data and from here you have to choose a big leg to remote function like this now for the connection id just paste the name which is just copy this one okay now just choose the region and for what was my region us east one so i'm going to choose that like this and just simply click on create connection just wait and here you can see the connection is created as you can see now just simply click on this connection name now just wait now what you have to do just simply search for the iam open this thing new tab come back over here okay now just wait And it's done now click on this grant access and for the new principle go back to your big query and here you can see service account id just copy this id make sure you do not copy any extra space just copy this id come back over here and paste and just simply click on this blank space okay it must look like this now what you have to do you have to just add one rule so the role must be storage object viewer this row just simply click on that and it must look like this and click on save just wait and you are done with this part okay now what we have to do we have to create one table so just copy this name make sure you do not copy that full stop just copy that name go back to your big query and here you can see e-commerce data set click on this three dot then click on this create data set now watch the video carefully first of all from here you have to choose the google cloud storage okay then click on this browse option wait for a second and then click on this arrow and choose this file then click on select it's done now for the table name just paste the name which you just copy this one okay scroll down for the table type it must be external table okay scroll down here you can see schema just simply click on this checkbox of auto detect and just simply click on create table just wait for a second and here you can see table is created okay now if you just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue and it's done now what you have to do just simply search for the data plex click over here wait for a second click on this get started okay now let me just maximize this okay now click on this tag template click on this create scroll down now for the template name come on the task number three from the point line number one or you can say point number one just copy this name for your template name just paste over here now what was my location it's us east one for you it might be different so you have to choose accordingly now the visibility must be public okay now here please pay attention because this part will be very confusing for you so just simply click on this add field okay now what we have to do we have to add two fields first field must be boolean type and second must be enumerated okay now first of all for the boolean field we have to just copy this name 
copy this paste over here like this okay now for the type it must be boolean okay i hope you got my point then click on done okay so we have done with this point now we have to just create second field so first of all just copy this name okay again i'm saying do not copy an extra space just copy the name okay then again click on this add field scroll down paste the name over here and for the type it must be enumerated like this now what we have to do we have to add three values so just copy this first value paste over here then click on this add value then copy this second value paste over here then click on this add value and then copy this none like this paste over here and it's done make sure it must look like this and then click on done no need to make any other changes just simply click on create now just wait for a second and it's done as you can see it's loading and tag template is created over here now what you have to do click on the search option and just choose the BigQuery checkbox like this now just wait and just click on this e-commerce table name this thing if you are not able to find just refresh the page and again just check for this e-commerce just simply click on this wait for a second and then click on this add attach tag so attach tag click over here from here you have to just choose the template click on ok now just wait it's loading and for the hash sensitive data it must be true and for the sensitive data type it must be location info if you just simply scroll down from here you can just check true and location info okay so it must look like this click on the save just wait for a second and it's done now if you just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue sometime lab take time to update a score so no need to worry about that just keep hitting on check my progress you will get a score without any issue just wait and let's see and as you can see on my third attempt i was able to get a score over here and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys